All right, I've been on a bit of a downswing. Um, after editing, you know, looking at my previous vlogs, I'm making mistakes. I'm not playing that well. So, um, you know, I got some stuff to clean up. I, I know what I'm doing for the most part, and I know what I need to work on. So I'm going to try to clean up some of those mistakes. I'm gonna get back in there a little bit today. I believe it's day 173, I think, of my journey. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get the cards and then uh, use the cards well and color up. So let's get after it. First playable hand I have is pocket tens on the button. Someone in middle position raises it to just $5. A Couple more make the call and I make my first mistake. I need to raise it up here, get less players and a hand with tens. I just call, blinds fold and we go four ways to the flop. Nine, nine, jack. This is actually pretty good board for me. It checks around and this time I raise it up to $10. Two players make the call. Turn is the eight of clubs. I have no idea what I was thinking here. Really only worry is a jack. I have a great pair and now an open ended straight draw. I really should have continued betting here. Instead it checks through and everyone gets a free river card. Two of spades. This really shouldn't change anything, but there is a bet of $35 in front of me. Not really sure what I'm afraid of here other than it's early in the session. I just fold. I played this hand poorly every which way, I think. Ace nine suited and I'm under the gun. If my kicker is a 10, I open raise here. I just try to sneak in with a limp, figuring if someone puts a substantial raise in, I'll just leave the hand. Five players end up going to the flop. King, king, 10 with two clubs. Checks to me, I bet $5 with my flush draw. I believe this is the last time I ever make a continuation bet of just $5. It really shouldn't be in my game plan no matter the situation. To make the call, then to my right puts in a raise to $20. This many players, not afraid of the king, he probably has one. I'll call this though and hope for a club. Behind me makes it 105. Okay, what? So one of these guys have a king, the other, I guess, pocket tens, maybe. More likely a straight or a weaker flush draw than mine. To my right then goes all in, has both of us remaining covered. Let's play some poker. I go all in for less with $166, and on my left makes the call going all in as well. The turn is the eight of hearts, river is the six of hearts. Dang, no clubs and I'm dead. The winner had ace king and the other player, king queen. <laughs> Three kings, ace is gonna take it off. Damn, that's too horrendous, damn. Time to buy back in, but short this time, just $100. I'm in the big blind with jacks. There's a raise to $6. This is similar to my earlier hand with the tens. I elect not to three bet and four players see the flop. Ace, eight, jack, rainbow. I hit my set and don't have to worry about a flush. I'm first to act and make it $15. I get one call and we go heads up to the turn. Jack of hearts. Wow, my heart is racing. I've never had this hand before. The trick is to not run the other player off. I bet $20 and get the call. Nice, he definitely has some kind of hand. River is a six. Again, how can I size to get the most value? Hmm. I bet $35, leaving a little behind, hoping it doesn't look overly strong. He makes the call and shows pocket kings. I win the pot and also get paid a $100 bonus for having four of a kind. After busting a few hands earlier, and now this, the ups and downs of poker is real, and I'm loving it. I'm dealt big slick, and it's suited. Someone makes it $10, I three bet to 25. Big blind and the initial raiser make the call. Flop comes ace, four, queen with two spades. It checks to me, I bet $45, behind me goes all in for 92. I normally never talk at the table, but in this spot, I'm not giving any info and I'm just having some fun. I ask him if he has the ace queen or a draw. The ace queen or the draw? It'd be helpful if you told me. He doesn't tell me. Okay, let's call. We flip him over and he has queen jack. I've got him. The run out is 10, 
two. We scoop a pot. In the small blind with ace four suited, a player limps, and I want to raise it up just a little bit. I throw in a red chip. Rookie mistake. This is just a call with one oversized chip because I did not verbalize my bet. Okay, we get it straightened out, and three go to the flop. Three, six, queen, rainbow. It checks around. The turn card is the four. I pick up a pair. Maybe I can bet this. I don't, and it checks around again. River is a two. Check. I bet $5. When I said I'm not going to do this weak continuation bet again, I meant after this session. Well, hopefully I remove it from my game. I get a call with the comment, he's keeping me honest. He shows eight, seven of diamonds. Eight, seven, which doesn't really work. He's got a pair. In the small blind with ace, 10 suited, couple of limps, and I make it $11. I get three callers and we head to the flop. 10, seven, two, rainbow. I have top pair. Normally I should bet this. Not sure why I decided I might play this hand as a trap. It's not that strong. I just check behind me checks and then we see a $25 raise. Now this guy I'm pretty sure is drunk. He could have anything. I make the call and the third player gets out of the way. Turn is the eight of diamonds. I check. Now he bets 45. Ugh. This is decent pressure. He could have an over pair. Or he could have seven deuce. I call again. River is the nine of clubs. I check and now he bets $70. I hate this. I still have top pair. But maybe he really did have an over pair this whole time. I was so close to folding when I decided to just see it through. I call. I show my cards and he mucks. It felt weird like I was taking advantage of a drunk guy, but on the other hand, his betting put a ton of pressure on me. I'll take this win. Ace queen, I open raise to $6. Three Six. players head to the flop. Nine queen deuce with two spades. Top pair, best kicker, checks to me and I make it $10. Both players call. We turn trips, sweet. Checks to me, I bet out for $20. I get a fold and then a check raise to $50. Easy call. River is the king of spades. Player then goes all in. Not much more, maybe like $20. I call and he turns over queen six and I scoop another decent pot. All right, day 173 is in the books. It was a little up and down roller coaster. We started off fast. I went all in because there was two all ins in front of me with an ace high flush draw. Two cars to come and it just didn't get there as you saw. Um, so it was down early. Rebought for a little bit. Um, later on, I hit those quads, so which was nice. Not only did I win the hand, but then I you get a hundred dollar bonus here, so that really helped kickstart things. And then I played a couple other hands that worked out really well. So I have to, in my top of my mind, I don't know that I played that well. I just got the cards, and it just worked out today. So um, I don't know. It's always nice to book a win for sure, and uh, it was a good day. So it's good to get a win after quite of a bit of losing streak. So how I played, I think I played all right. I mean, I won, but that doesn't necessarily mean I played well, but I think I did. I played, I played, the well, played well and played aggressive with the cards I was given. So hopefully I eliminated a couple mistakes this time and I had a good time. So uh, until next time, good luck on coloring up.